our third tool, hijacked by outside pressures. And I realize there's drugs and alcohol on that screen. But I've noticed that the number one outside pressure that people face is financial. And especially in our business, where our income is like up and down, depending on what's going on with the market. I've been through real estate cycles since the late 1970s. I've seen every kind of real estate market. And I know when the times have been good, I've went out and bought those fancy cars and those large houses. And my wife, a lot of jewelry. And sometimes that, um, those real estate markets go down. But that debt doesn't. Or what happens if you put your kid into a private school and a tuition is due? And now you have a client that you're working with. And that client may be a little bit shaky. And you realize it. It's pretty hard to work, uh, walk away with some of the commissions that you guys are dealing with on a regular basis. You may need that commission. And those are the types of outside pressures that I'm talking about. Or family pressures. Such as a pending divorce, an extramarital affair, other types of addictions. These all create outside pressures that make it hard for us to think clearly and make rational decisions. And I was very surprised about how many men I met in prison that were there because of a drug or alcohol addiction. And they weren't there necessarily because of that addiction. They were there because that addiction clouded their ability to make rational decisions. 